Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do date and day calculations on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here, the decimal key with the second function of format that looks like this located here, the enter key with the second function of set that looks like this located here, and the one key with the second function of date, that looks like this, located here. To start, this calculator has two ways of displaying dates. We can check that by pressing the second function and then decimal key, or the format key, which will bring us to this menu here. And if we scroll down one, two times, we should see this, US 12 31 1990. This is the default way this calculator displays date, the US mode where it's month, day, year. We can change this by pressing the second enter key to the European version where it goes day, month, year. If we wanted to set that, we would just press enter. But for this example, we'll stick with the US version, so we'll press second, enter again, to go back to the US format. Now that we know what format our calculator is using, we can exit this, and begin working with our dates. Let's say we were given a project on January 1st, 2010, and we're asked to complete it by March 15th, 2010 and we wanted to figure out how many days we had to get that project done. Well, to do that, what we can do is press the second function key and then the one with the second function of date. That'll bring this screen up, DT1, which represents date one. Right now, it's in the US format, remember? So this is displaying January 1st, 2001 right now. Well, we want to enter January 1st, 2010. So we do that by entering first the month. So January is one, the first month. And then we hit the decimal key. Next, the day. So first, zero, one. And then for the year, we just enter the last two numbers. So for 2010, we enter 10 and press enter. This is now displaying January 1st, 2010. If we then scroll down, we get to DT2, or date 2, or our end date, which for us was March 15th, 2010. So we start with the month. Since March is the third month, we go 3, decimal, then the day, 15, and then the year, again, 2010. So just enter 10, and press enter. There we go. Scroll down one more time, and we get to DBD, which means Days Between Dates. We want to determine this, so we press the CPT, or Compute, key, and we get 73. So we have 73 days between January 1st and March 15th to get our project done. Alright, let's look at another example. Let's say we were given a project on November 10th, 2010, and had 60 days to complete it. Well, we want to know when is the due date on that project. For that, again, we go back into our date menu, so second, one, and then we enter our start date, or our date one, which is November 10th, 2010, so November is the 11th month, decimal, then the 10th day, and then 10 again for 2010. Press enter to confirm that. If we scroll down one, this is our date two. We don't have this, so we scroll past it to our DVD, and we know we have 60 days here. So we enter 60, press enter, and if we scroll back up to our second date, or our end date, and press compute, 
it'll solve for us and we see that our project is due Sunday, January 9th, 2011. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.